Yo guys, what's going on? So today we got a, another video for you. So I actually got uh, some injectors here from Deechworks. Uh, I really needed these. Uh, the injectors that I had in the car, which are stock, are reading a injector duty cycle of 100%. So I definitely needed to upgrade these. These are 740 cc's and they're side feed injectors. So they should be enough for the power that I'm putting down at the moment. So let's go ahead and open the box up. All right, so I got my trusty multi-tool hammer thing. Pull out the knife. I guess I can get open that. There we go. And so what we got here is an installation guide and the flow data sheet. So definitely keep this. This will actually tell you which injector number you have and all the results that it that happened with it <laughs> so it actually shows you which injector is and then the results according to those tests they did um, I would suggest to keep this especially for your tuner to tune it and just a card and there we go there's the injectors so we got four injectors here side feed and you got some super lube as well. Make sure you lube up those O-rings before you put them in the car. Um, yeah. Also got a question for you guys. If you want me to do detailed install videos, uh, leave a comment down below to let me know because I don't know what you guys want. Or I can do like progress updates. Either way, it doesn't matter to me as long as I'm making content for you guys and you guys like it the way I produce it, then that'll be awesome and that'll be how it'll be. So yeah, let's go ahead and open one of these up and not, not stab it. That would not be good. Also, these will have a link in the description for you guys to go ahead and check out. They're good for the 2004 to 2007 WRX STI and also a version of the Legacy. I don't know which ones um correct me yeah it'll be on the screen yeah there you go so there you go ooh, ooh, ooh. nice and clean so i'm gonna compare these to the oem side feed injectors because i believe i have a misfire and in my cylinder too there's a bad injector so that's why i got these to hope we fix that we'll find out so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going on a Cobb access tuner here and I'm actually going to be inputting these values per the injectors so I don't have to go to a tuner. I'm going to tune it myself. Um, hopefully this will give me all the information that I need. And yeah, let's go ahead onto the computer and let's do that. All right guys, so now we're on the computer here. We're just going to go to the internet. Go to beachworks.com. All right, go over here to tech and then injector tuning data over to Subaru, and then pick the size of injector you want. Um, either you have a ECU flash or a Cobb access port. I went with the Cobb access port, and 750, which is fairly close to the 740 cc's I have. So I'll go ahead and download that. You're gonna need a spreadsheet uh, viewer for this as well. So I downloaded, a, what is it? Trio Office, it's free on Windows. So go ahead and open that. I don't want to rate, no thanks. So basically these are all the uh, values you want to put inside your Cobb access port, access tuner here. So if you guys cannot tune your own access port, it's because you haven't taken the, the online course for it. So you go to EFIU, Electronic Fuel Injection University. Just Google that and then go here. EFI University and then yeah you can go to learn online take the basic online course to get to basically get your standard Cobb tuning uh, lessons so you can actually tune your car so that takes actually a while it took me a day or two to actually do that and then when you actually go in to your access tuner okay so this is the access tuner here pop that up um, so before anything, if you have an aftermarket uh, intake like I do, I have a Canaan one, 
you want to go math uh, calibration here. You want to make sure this is 100% accurate to your math and your intake. Because if you get a bigger intake than stock, it'll actually pull more air in, but your math sensor will not calibrate the extra air that you're pulling in, so it will run really, really lean because it's not adding all the fuel to the extra air that it's pulling in. So you have to go through all these values, data log your car, and correct all this before you can actually get an accurate uh, injector scaling uh, thing. So go ahead and do that. That'll take you a while. <laughs> and then, so the DeechWorks uh, spreadsheet here will actually tell me basically what I need to know. This is more or less um, around where you want to be, but you can fine tune these to get to your specific injectors and car because every injector and car is a little bit different, obviously. So basically, all you want to do is just go down the list as you see it. So I got the fuel injector latency for the 2.5 liter, and uh, yeah. Okay, that's, yeah, so all 2.5s, <laughs> it says speed density, but that's fine, it should be the same. So, if you want to go over to that map right here, which is fuel injector latency, what you want to do is copy these values here, so control C, and then paste those values into the top there, you can see they changed along with the graph, and then you also want to change the milliseconds according to those values as well. So copy and paste. And you can see the graph change there as well according to the battery voltage over latency in milliseconds. So there's one chart done. This one, the latency, we don't have to mess with. Fuel injector pulse width limit uh, minimum. So you will find that in doo -doo -doo -doo. the fuel tables, injectors, fuel pulse with minimum right there. So in the milliseconds, you just want to copy that value there, throw that there, perfect. Now, the fuel injector scale, either if you're on gas or E85, um, it'll correspond to which value you use. I am using gas at the moment, so zero ethanol. And we will copy this value here and go into the injector scaler paste that there. When I actually calculated this, I will quickly show you, whoop, hold on, we'll undo that, we'll calculate this so you guys can actually see. So the stock SDI injectors are 545 cc's and we'll do over our 740 cc's that we currently have, which would give us a percentage of 0 0.734, blah, 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 whatever. So you multiply that by this number here, so 53, Seven two, which will actually give you three nine five six, which is actually really close to the value that they give you. So that's that's, that's the one thing I know how to calculate, more or less. All right, so we'll move on here to the fuel injector trim, which is right here. All these maps are just yeah, I couldn't tell you what those do at the moment, but we'll do these. I'll go to the IPW, copy those values there, we'll throw them on top, perfect. And then we'll copy the values on the bottom, and boom. So these numbers and the colors will actually determine if you are decreasing the value that it actually came with from stock or your Cobb uh, stage two map that you download from Cobb. Um, yeah, so the yellow will actually be decreased values from that stock map, and then the red will be increasing that. And then green will obviously be uh, the same as the stock map. Just a little tip, or just how to read these, more or less. So in the fuel injector trim, small IPW, which would be right here. Right, yeah, right here. <laughs> just the one value throw that there and then the fuel injector trim small IPW max RPM is 10,000 RPM which stock is 4,000 10 no we'll go 10,000 
perfect. So that's more or less how you throw all these values in. That'll get you started. This would be like more of a safe tune. And then once you actually go inside the car, you want to data log all your fuel values, air, air fuel ratio, air fuel learning and correction. Just to make sure you're actually still running a stoichi stoichiometric values of your car and where your target AFRs are supposed to be. So uh, we will save this to the export. We'll, we'll go version three. And we'll save it to my personal tune. All right, so once you got that all saved up, you want to go over here to the access port, connect it, connect, plug your access port into your computer, connect it, uh, make sure access port is up to date. As always, you should. We are running the latest firmware. So, search for maps. Uh, my, I can't read since you're there, but yeah, my personal tune. We will upload that to the access port. We will replace it. Where did it go? I'm assuming it did it. We'll just do it again just to make sure. Whoop. Okay, cool. Yeah, you see that bar. Cool, awesome. Now, always inject eject your access port before you unplug it so you don't actually take it out while it's still transferring data. Now we can actually go to the car and install these injectors. Let's go do that. 